Concern for some health leaders, so much so that Dallas County is clearing the way now to spray insecticide from the air. CBS 11's Robbie Owens live in downtown to explain what could trigger all this aerial spraying that we may see. Robbie? Well, Doug, with more than a dozen already sickened with West Nile in the county, local leaders here are calling aerial spraying, quote, another tool in the toolbox. They're getting prepared while also reminding the community that this is not 2012. Who could forget the summer of West Nile? I was getting headaches that were so severe, all I could do was lie in a dark room and cry. In 2012, Dallas became the epicenter of the worst West Nile outbreak in the nation. More than 20 people died, hundreds more were sickened. I was a very healthy 33-year-old woman when I got felled by something so small you can barely see it. Before Zika arrives, local health officials are reminding North Texans that the West Nile virus is already here and that disease can be deadly. Still, before wading into the controversy attached to aerial spraying, local leaders insist that individual cities will have the final say. The likelihood of aerial spraying, I think, probably is decreasing a little bit each day. Uh, but it's a tool in the toolbox. It's not something people should be afraid of. Dallas County health officials also say that much has changed since that pivotal summer. According to Director Zachary Thompson, decisions regarding mosquito abatement are now more data-driven, telling me today, quote, the real lesson from 2012 was to not just look at where we found human cases, but to consider the mosquito traps and the resources of the cities to respond before deciding how to move forward. Once they bug me enough, I do spray myself. Still, whether it's Zika or West Nile, health officials say personal responsibility is the first level of protection. Now keep in mind, the mosquitoes that carry and spread West Nile are active at night. The ones that spread Zika are active in the daytime. So just get ready to live with the bug repellent. Live in downtown Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.